Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tania Bose. So I hope you have subscribed to my channel. So before this I have published three videos on lattice and this is the fourth video. So in the last video we studied about the maximal and the minimal elements. So today this video will focus on maximum and minimum elements. So let us understand what is the difference between the two elements. They are little confusing. So I will try to explain you with the help of a very simple example. Let us say that there are some students in the class and I pick only one tallest student in the class. Right? Suppose from a, a class strength of 60 students, I pick, there is only one student who is the tallest. Right? So this student is being picked up and he says that I am the tallest in the class. This is the first case. Right? In the second case, let me say that I have picked up three students and all the three students have the same height. And these three students tell each other that no other boy is taller than me. Right? Both seem to be the same thing. But this is a, there is a minute difference in the two cases. In this case, there is only one student who is tallest. And in this case, there are three students who are taller. Right? But there is no single student who is taller among all of them. So in this case, the first one is referred to as the maximum case. And the second case is referred to as the maximal case. So it is quite clear that when you can pick only one element, right, if I relate this with a poset, if you can pick up one element in the poset, which is the greatest among all, it will be declared as the maximum element. And if there are more than one elements which are greater, so that cannot be called maximum, but then they are called the maximal elements, right? But it can happen that maximal and the maximum elements are the same elements, right? So now let's come to the definitions on the same theory applies to the minimal and the minimum element, right? So let us come to the definitions of these elements. So let's do the definition of the maximum element. So the maximum element is also called the greatest element. So what is the meaning of this maximum element? An element in a poset is called the greatest element or the maximum element if it is greater than every other element. That is, an element A is the greatest element of the poset S with the less than equal to partial order if B is less than equal to A for all B belonging to S. That means if any element is greater than every other element in the poset, then that element is called the maximum. It now let us come to the definition of minimum element. A minimum element is also called as the least element. So an element in a poset is called the least element or the minimum element if it is less than every other element. That is an element A is the least element of the poset S with less than equal to partial order. If A is less than equal to B for all B belonging to S. Right? So if you find any element which is lesser than every other element in the poset, that element will be declared as the minimum element. And if you can spot any element which is bigger than every element of the poset, that means that element will be declared as a maximum element. Right? But then you have to take care that if the maximum and the minimum element exist, they are always unique in nature. There cannot be two elements which are maximum or two elements which are minimum, right? So now since we have done the definitions of maximal, maximum, minimal and minimum. So let us see which elements are maximum, which elements are maximal and similarly which elements are minimum and which elements are minimal. Right? So to begin with, in this haze diagram, if you look at the top positions, in the top positions we have two elements which are beyond which there is no other element. Right? So 24 and 36 are surely going to be the maximal elements because there is no other element which is greater than this. 
But can you find a single element which is greater than both the elements? There is no single element. So in this case, there will be no maximum element. Right? Now if I look at the bottom positions of the haze diagram, so in this haze diagram, we have 2 and 3 at the bottom position. So 2 and 3 will be definitely serving as the minimal elements. But since there is no single element which is minimum than this, so there will be no minimum element. Right? Let's go to the next example. Again, let us talk about the maximum maximal minimum and minimal element minimum and minimal right so if you look at the top positions we have 24 and 36 at the top and both are occupying the same level so definitely 24 and 36 are going to be the maximal elements but again, you can see that there is no single element which is greater than 24 and 36. So in this case, there is no maximum element, right? Now, if you look at the bottom position, there is only one single element, 6 here. So 6 is definitely going to be the maximal element. And since every other element is bigger than this element, so 6 is also going to be the minimum element, right? So you can see the cases where the minimum and the minimal elements are same. But here, there was maximal element, but there were no maximum element. Right? Okay. So now, let us go to the next exercise. So here, the maximum element is, if you apply the same logic, there is only one single element at the top, so the maximum element is 12. The minimum element which is the minimum element. There are no minimum element because there is no single element which is less than this. Right? Now, if I talk about the maximal element, since 12 is lying at the top, so 12 itself will act as the maximal element also. And if I talk about the minimal element, minimal elements are 2 and 3. Right? Okay. So now, let us go to the next example. Yeah. Let's see this. So in this case, let me write down all these. Maximum, maximal, minimal and minimum. Right? So here you can see that 30 occupies the top position. There is no other element which is greater than this. So 30 will act as maximum as well as maximal element. Similarly, if I talk, look at the bottom position, 1 is serving as the minimal element as well as the minimum element. Right? Okay. Now let's move on to the next exercise. This is the same example that we, I discussed in the third video also. So if S is the set of coset of all the non-negative real numbers with the usual partial order less than or equal to, so that means we have the set 0 to infinity. So we saw there that 0 was the minimal element and there was no maximal element, right? So now in this case, who will act as the minimum element? The minimum element will be similarly 0. And since it is going till infinity, so there will be no maximum element, right? Okay. Now in the set, O set Z with usual partial order. So this set was extending from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this set did not have any maximal or minimal element. So similarly, it will not have any maximum and minimum element. So, maximum element and minimum element both do not exist. Right? Okay. Let's see some other ex exercises also. So, I have given you some haze diagrams. So, you need to find out 
what the maximum, maximal, minimum, and minimal element. So I think till now you are clear with these definitions and you can easily calculate these elements, right? So the answers are also given in the slides only. So you can check them after you have attempted them, right? And similarly, this is the next exercise for you all. So you can check the maximum, maximal, minimum, and minimal elements in this case, right? So the answers are also given here. So if you have any query regarding any exercise, you can always put a comment in the comment section and I will reply to it. And let's come to the remark now. Now the greatest, that means the maximum and the minimum element, that means the greatest and the least elements are always unique if they do. So it's not necessary that every poset will have a greatest or a least element. But if they exist, they are always unique. So in all the above exercises that we have done till now, you can see that if they were existing, there was only one maximum or minimum element, right? But the same was not true with maximal and minimal elements. There were more than one also, right? And the second remark says that the greatest element of a poset, if exists, it is denoted by I. And it is also called the unit element. So it's important that who is the unit element? The unit element is the greatest element or the maximum element in the poset. Similarly, if the least element also exists in the poset, then it is denoted by O, or you can also call it as a zero, and it is often called the zero element. The so zero element is the least element or the minimum element in the poset. Right? So I denotes the maximum element, and zero denotes the minimum element, right? So zero denotes the minimum element. So with this video, I think you are clear with the definitions of maximal, minimal, maximum, and minimum elements, right? So subscribe to my channel and if you, so that you'll get the latest updates of the latest videos. And if you like these Put a like option also there and believe in yourself and you will always succeed. Thank you so much.